Hi there, welcome to Boxbrain. In this video I'm going to be giving my thoughts on the September the 17th fight, which is this coming Saturday, between Saul Alvarez and Alfonso Gomez. Uh, now, um, I think that um, Saul Alvarez is going to win this quite comfortably. I think he's going to uh, actually get the stoppage win. Um, just quickly looking at um, Gomez, initially on the face of things, it may seem like um, he can be a bit of a tricky fighter to get to, to get to. Um, and you know he's a decent boxer, but um, I mean I, I wouldn't I wouldn't say he's any more elusive than Ryan Rhodes is, um, or really um, I would put him in probably in a similar category as Ryan Rhodes. Probably possibly Ryan Rhodes being being a bit of a better boxer than him actually. Um, in my opinion, and you, we all know what happened to Ryan Rhodes, he got stopped late on. Um, I, I'm i not sure it's even going to go that long in this fight. Um, uh, you know, I think that um, Gomez has had problems with cuts in his career, and I wouldn't be surprised if this fight is stopped on cuts, um, if it's not stopped by any other means. Um, so expect I am expecting Gomez to get cut some stage. Um, he doesn't have much KO power, um, Gomez. He's only around the 40% mark. Um, he also doesn't have vast experience. I mean, he's fought some some, some decent guys. He lost to Miguel Cotto. Um, and he's he's faced a couple of other decent fighters. But he's not. He's only had 20 odd fights. And an interesting fact is he's only been scheduled to go 12 rounds once in his career. And that was against Cotto. And he, he lost that. It was stopped before then. But um, you know he he hasn't had. Um, he's been fighting ten rounders, um, which you know often doesn't come into play how long the fight is. But you plan for how long the fight's going to be, um, and this is another twelve round that he faces here against a guy who I think is going to be too much for him. Um, one thing he does also is, although he's not, he's not. Um, got great KO power, he does throw a lot of power punches, and he does throw a lot of wide swinging punches um, I think that's that's going to be um, work, work as a disadvantage in this one I think he's open for the straight the straight uh, shots, the straight punches which I think Sol Alvarez throws very effectively he has he has surprisingly quick hands uh, Alvarez and he throws very good straight punches uh, in combinations and I think that he is going to have a field day coming straight down the pipe against Gomez. Um, um, I bit, bit, um, on on the the positive side for Gomez, just pick up some positives. Um, he can be a bit a, a tricky fighter. What he does well is he moves well backwards, backing up. He moves backwards um, in defence in a similar way that the Klitschko brothers can do. And he's pretty good at just jump, taking that step back and getting himself out of range. But I don't think it's going to be enough um, in this fight to keep him, to keep Canelo off him. Um, I think, I really do think um, Alvarez's speed is underrated. I think he's he's got pretty quick hands. And he showed that against Ryan Rhodes. I think he's got quick hands. He throws good combinations with speed. And obviously, he's got great power. Um... Another plus for um, Gomez is that he um, does various punches and he throws some good body punches. He's got a decent body punch on him, but again, that that that's with a looping um, a looping punch. And, and again, wide punches are not going to help him against a guy like Canelo, where you really need to keep uh, your straight punches going, especially with your jab. I just don't think Gomez has it in his tank, has it in his skill set. Um, just quickly moving on to Canelo. Um, I said, you know, he, he dealt with Ryan Rhodes, so I see no reason why he can't deal with Gomez in the same way. Um, I think that obviously he has power. I've mentioned his hand speed, which I think is good. Another thing, I think he is a patient fighter. I've mentioned it before in my other predictions of his fights. I think Sol Alvarez is quite a patient fighter. He's not the type of guy who will get too excited, or excited and chase you when he thinks he's on top of you and then get caught. He's the type of fighter that will keep, keep going, keep going, and he will methodically tactically um, wait for that opportunity to take to take that opportunity you know so I don't think 
Gomez is going to really be able to lure him in and trap him into swinging wildly or anything. Um, and that's the good thing about, I think, Alvarez. Is he's able to do, he, he's, he's quite a, I'm thinking about him in that way, I think he's quite a clever boxer. Um, you know, um, and he has, he has the vast experience, he's a younger fighter by about a decade, but he has the, the he has more experience than Gomez. There's more fights, he's fought far more 12 rounders. Um, he, he, obviously they, they've been pushing building up his fights and he hasn't fought the top the best opposition um, lately he's fought better opposition obviously but I think just off the top of my head you know the guy in 2008 he fought something like 8 fights in 2009 7 fights in 2010 5 fights and 2 fights this year so far something like that he's fought a lot of fights He's fighting a lot of times each year, which is what he, I like to see. Now what would be nice to see is, um, obviously that was against lesser opposition. It would be nice to see him fight often against the best opposition, the top opposition. Um, but what tends to happen is when the competition is elevated, they start to fight less because they need to have more preparation and resting periods in between. But one thing I do know is that Sol Alvarez does like to fight. And um, I think he likes to fight quite often. And he is, um, he's been in the ring far more often over the past couple of years than Gomez. He's not going to be ring rusty. There's more chance of Gomez being ring rusty. And I just can't see Gomez getting anything out of this fight. I think that um, Alvarez is going to beat him by stoppage. Um, I don't agree with the way you know Alvarez was given the belt, like many people. Um, but we, it is what it is. We can we we should voice our opinion on it. I'm not happy with it, but all he can do now is fight better opposition and keep beating them, and hopefully he continues to improve his level of opposition. Um, I would put, I would rank Gomez similar in opposition to Rhodes, um, if not well not really a step down, but I'd say similar opposition. So you know, hopefully he start moving up and fighting bigger and better opposition as time goes on. Um, I just want to quickly address the Tyson Fury fight that's happening as well. I think I should address it because, you know, I was um, I, I I I did a prediction for his last fight against Derek Chisora because it was hyped up here in the UK. I feel it's only right to um, follow and see what to see what he's doing afterwards. He's fighting a guy called Nikolai Firther, um, who is like he's won 20 fights and lost eight, and this is just what you would probably deem it a safe fight um, just another fight to, to, to add to the record he's 15 and 0 at the moment Fury and he's not really that dangerous because Firth has only got around a 27% knockout ratio he's not really powerful um, he likes to throw a jab he's a big uh, over, he's a big overweight guy um, like most heavyweights but he likes to bounce around early in the fight you know, bounce around keep the jab out there um, he lasted the distance with Povetkin. Um, you know, he he's just he's been knocked out something like three times in his eight losses. Um, and he might he might show a bit of durability. I think he could frustrate Fury a bit. Fury, I'm still not sold on Tyson Fury. You know, um, he's he still lacks he's lacking technically. He he is he's still rather quite slow. Um, but I'm I'm going to see how he how he improves um, over the coming fights and see how he looks. You know he's got some power. He's got 66% knockout ratio. Um, but I I think he'll probably go to a, get a unanimous decision in this fight. There's a chance he could stop further, um, but I think he might be frustrated by further's um, you know movement and durability. So I think Tyson Fury is going to take a unanimous decision there. And off the top of my head, I'm also expecting Morales to beat Pablo Cesar Cano. Um, Eric Morales, I think, is going to be too, just a bit too seasoned and experienced for this guy. I mean, this guy is unbeaten, but he was knocked down early in his last fight. Should be quite an exciting fight. Got two Mexicans going at it. Surprise, surprise, WBC. But um, it's for the light welterweight title, WBC. 
Um, we know Matisse dropped out of the fight. I was looking forward to that, but now he's got Kano. I think this guy is just not going to... He's not really for the level of opposition. And this is a big step up for him against Morales. And we saw Morales look good against Maidana. So I think Morales might stop this guy. Um, but I'm expecting him to win anyway. I'm going to stop the video there. It's getting quite long. But that's my opinions on those fights. Um, please let me know what you guys think. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you do like my channel. This is Boxbread and I'm out.